Hello everyone, welcome to Kerridi Training Solutions. In session 4 of DI, we are going to discuss problem on line graph. We can also call line graph as a line chart. Line chart is a graphical display of information that changes continuously over time. I show you what exactly is a line graph through a DI problem. Here you have an example of line graph. So this line graph gives 7 years import and export data by a company. If you take 2005, ratio of import and export is 0.65. Ratio of import and export in 2006 is 0.85. In 2007, it's 0.35. Until 2011, the data is given for us. Now, based on this data, we are going to solve the first problem. Our first problem is in how many of the given years were export more than imports. So, you have to find in how many of the given 7 years export is greater than import. If the value is given in fractional format, you can easily identify in how many of the given years export is greater than import. But here the value is given in decimal. If the value is given in decimal, you have to convert that into fraction, equivalent fraction. Now, if you take 2005, the ratio of import and export is 0.65. Now, 0.65 can be written as 65 by 100. In fifth table, if you reduce 65 by 100, you get 13 by 20. 13 by 20 can be written as 13 is to 20. So where 13 is import and 20 is export. So ratio of import and export in the year 2005 is 13 is to 20. So here export is greater than import, right? Similarly, you have to find for the seven years, how many years this export is greater than import. The question is so simple. If you take the year 2011, the ratio of import and export is 1.65. So 1.65 can be written as 165 by 100. Reducing in fifth table, it's 33 by 20. Here, import is greater than export. But what we exactly need? Export greater than import. If export should be greater than import, the denominator should be greater than numerator. If denominator greater than numerator, you will get the answer starting with 0 point something. Right? Assume if the import is 1 and export is 4, the value will be 0 0.25. If the import is 4 and export is 1, the value will be 4. So if the new denominator is greater than numerator, you will get the value starting with 0 point something. Now look at the numbers starting with 0 point something. In the 2005, it's 0 0.65. And 2006, it's 0 0.85. In 2007, 0 0.35. In 2010, it's 0 0.95. For the remaining 3 years, the value is starting with 1. It means obviously import greater than export. But what we need? Export greater than import. So in 4 years, export is greater than import. So answer for the first question is 4 years. Hope you got my point, right? Now moving to second question of this session. Our second question is, the imports were minimum proportionate to the export of the company in which year? The import are minimum proportionate to export means value of import by value of export should have a minimum value. For example, if the import is 1 and export is 2, it's 0 0.5. If the import is 1 and export is 3, the value is 0 0.33. If the import is 1 and export is 7, the value will be 0 0.14. If the import is 1 and export is 12, the value will be 0 0.08. Right? So, which is having the minimum value? 0 0.08. Right? So, 0 0.08. Because uh, the import is minimum comparing to export. Clearly, the ratio has a minimum value of 0 0.35 in the year 2007. So, this is the minimum value here, right? So, obviously, the imports were minimum proportion to export in the year 2007. So, answer for this question is 2007. Hope you got my point, right? Moving to third question of this session. Our third question says, if the import of the company in the year 2006 be 272 crores. So in 2006, the import is 272 crores. The export from the company in the same year was dash. So you have to find export of the company in the same year. You know in 2006, the ratio of import and export is 0 0.85. 0 0.85 can be written as 85 by 100. 85 by 100 reducing in fifth table can be written as 17 by 20. You know 17 is import and 20 is export. So 17 parts is nothing but 272 crores because in question it is given import is 272 crores. So 17 parts is nothing but 272 crores. You have to find export, right? So export here is 20 parts. So 20 parts is question mark. So this is our answer. When you cross multiply, you will get the answer. X, X cancel. 17 into 16, you get 272. So 16 into 20, you get 320. So 320 crores is the export of the year 2006. 
Hope you got my point, right? Moving to last question of this session. If import in 2080 is 2008 is 250 crores. So 2008's import data is provided for us, which is 250 crores. And total export in the year 2008 and 2009 together was 500 crores. So in 2008 and 2009, the export given for us is 500 crores. Then import in 2009 was dash. So you have to find import of the year 2009. Now if you take 2008, the ratio of import and export is 1.25. So 1.25 can be written as 125 by 100. So again in 25th table, 125 by 100 can be written as 5 by 4. Now in question, for 2008, import data is 250. So this import data is nothing but 5 parts. So 5 parts is 250 crores. So if 5 parts is 250 crores, what is 1 part? 250 by 5. So 250 by 5 gives 50 crores. But here export is 4 parts. So 4 part represents 4 into 50, 200 crores. Now you know, it's 200 crore. Now you know in 2008, export is 200 crores. In two, 200, 2008 and 2009, together, the export is 500 crores. So if total export is 500 crores, and in 2008, if it is 200 crores, 2009, the export will be 300 crores. 500 minus 200, you get 300 crores in 2009. So in 2009, the ratio of import and export data given for is 1.4. 1.4 can be written as 140 by 100. So reducing in 20th table, you get 7 by 5 where 7 is import and 5 is export. You know, export is 300 crores. So if 5 parts is 300 crores, you have to find import of the year 2009, right? So import is 7 parts. So if 5 parts is 300, what is 1 part? So 1 part is nothing but 60 crores. So 7 part is 7 into 60 crores, you get 7 into 6, 42. So 420 crores. So answer for this question is 420 crores. Hope you got my point. In upcoming videos, let us discuss some problem based on mixed data interpretation so that you feel more confident in this concept. Practice more problem to get uh, good marks in your competitive examination. Until that, stay connected with Career D Training Solutions.